Today we're going to run through an RP test with the Mako MK5 5-valve test kit. The first thing we have to do is to open all the test cocks, starting with test cock number 4, open it and leave it open, then proceed to test cock number 3, number 2, and finally number 1. And then fully close test cock number 1, number 2, number 3, and finally number 4. Verify the MK5 is turned on. Initiate the backlight by toggling the power button. Clear any captured values by holding down the back button. Verify that all MK5 test kit valves are closed. Connect the high side hose to test cock number 2. Always connect the hose to the assembly using the fitting closest to the filter. This ensures that the filter is properly engaged in filtering any sediment or debris so that it doesn't get into the gauge. Next connect the low side hose to test cock number 3. Again, always connect the hose to the assembly using the fitting closest to the filter. This ensures that the filter is properly engaged in filtering any sediment or debris so that it doesn't get into the gauge. We'll begin to bleed air from the hoses by opening test cock number three and then opening the low side bleed valve and leaving it open. Next, Open up test cock number two, and then open up the high side bleed valve and leave it open. Close shutoff valve number two, and then close the high side bleed valve. Then slowly close the low side bleed valve. Wait for the gauge reading to stabilize, and assuming the relief valve hasn't leaked, we'll call this the apparent differential pressure across check valve 1. Next we'll test the relief valve, which is right there. Open the high side control one full turn. Open the low side control slightly, no more than a quarter turn. Maintain your thumb hovering over the capture button. And be certain that you are watching the relief valve and not the gauge. At the first discharge of water from the relief valve, press the capture button. Use your eyes rather than your spare hand. No need to subject yourself to bites from spiders or scorpions. Then close the low side control valve. Next we'll bleed air from the bypass hose by opening the bypass control valve. Then close the bypass control valve. Attach the bypass hose from the MK5 to test cock number 4. Then fully open test cock number four. Open the low side bleed valve. Once the reading reaches a value above the apparent differential pressure across the number one check valve, slowly close the low side bleed valve. Then open the bypass control valve and wait for the reading on the Mako to stabilize. Record the number two check valve as closed tight. The relief valve did not open. Open the low side bleed valve once more until the reading exceeds the apparent differential pressure across the number one check valve. Then slowly close the low side bleed valve. Once the reading on the MK5 stabilizes, record the reading by pressing the capture button and you have the pressure across check valve number one. Now that this concludes the RP test, we'll close all our test cocks.
and remove all test equipment. Slowly open shutoff valve number two. And as always, test more backflows with Mako.